The All About Birds site from Cornell Lab of Ornithology will help you identify birds and double check your identification. It is also a good resource for learning about birds. Let's look at the different options under the pull down menus. First is the bird pull down menu. This is a great resource on different birds, how to identify and feed birds, homes, sounds, and more. Take some time to explore. Next is a fun place to visit, the live cams. These are live videos of specific birds and of a feeder at the Cornell Lab. There are many other live cams around the world that will be listed at the end of this video. For now, let's look at the Cornell Lab feeder. See what birds you notice. This is a great place to practice backyard birding. The birds that we have seen here include blue jays, northern cardinals, downy woodpecker, red-winged blackbird, both male and female, a European starling, and other birds in the distance. Next, there is an area for courses. Some of these are free, though most will cost money. A great resource is the Bird ID, or Merlin app. However, this will be discussed in a different video. Finally, we are going to use the search option to check the ID of a specific bird. I am going to type in a bird species that some beginning birders might make a mistake with, the scarlet tanager. Then I will scroll down to choose the bird I am checking. Notice that there are a few tanagers listed, but we are sticking with the Scarlet Tanager. When we are brought to the Scarlet Tanager page, you will notice a large photo of the Scarlet Tanager, smaller photos of the male and female, as well as the following options. Overview, ID info, life history, maps, sounds. We will focus on ID and sound. First, let's look at ID info. Here you will see a scrollable line of photos of the bird species in different forms and actions including male, female, habitat, and flying. Below are short descriptions. Use the white arrows to move through the pictures. Below these photos is a list of similar species. Most are other tanagers, but the northern cardinal is the one beginners may confuse. Or if a bird is far away, it may be also confusing. Let's look at the northern cardinal. You can now see a side-by-side -side comparison in photos and text. Take your time to look at color, shape, and size of body, wings, beak, and legs. Also read through the description for further information. You can also continue comparing the scarlet tanager to other birds by clicking the green arrows. To go back, hit the back arrow in your browser. Now we will look at the four keys to ID. First is size and shape. Read the description to better understand size and shape. Notice it also tells you why they have thick bills. You can also look at the silhouette for size comparison. The range is from sparrow to goose. And for the scarlet tanager, the silhouette size is between sparrow and robin. It also shows actual measurement. Next is the color pattern. This describes both male and female colors and patterns throughout the year. Notice that at certain times, the males are much more colorful. Next is behavior. This gives you an idea of what the bird will be doing during much of the day. Notice that the tanager, the scarlet tanager, is often hard to see, hiding within the leaves. Northern cardinals are often much more in the open. Finally is habitat. This shows you the type of habitat that the bird likes during different times of the year, as well as the types of plants and trees it prefers. Scarlet tanagers tend to like undisturbed forest, though they will show up in backyards during migration. Below this are other resources for exploring your bird, but we are going to move to sounds. Your first choice of exploring sound is to watch the video, which usually shows the bird within their habitat and exhibiting various behavior, sounds, and songs. You can also listen to clips of songs and sounds. Songs are the longer series of sounds a bird makes, whereas the call is usually short and quick. 
Calls are often the most confusing since they can sound like other birds. Notice there are different calls based on behavior and male and female. Again, to further explore your bird, you can look at these and other options. Remember, it's always a good idea to double or triple check your ID if you are even slightly unsure. First, you learn more, and second, every piece of data helps scientists. So the more accurate, the better. Have fun exploring.